Continuing our focus now on our streets, our stories. Faith leaders in one east side neighborhood say that the city's violence is a problem that affects everyone. And that's why members of six congregations in Irvington are coming together to pray for peace. RTV6's Katie Hines takes us to the Stop the Violence rally. Before attending Sunday services, dozens of people gather outside George W. Julian School to pray. We are here at the Irvington Association of Ministers felt a need for the church to step up and say that the violence in the city is all of our problems. It's not a certain demographic that's affected. We are all affected. Young and old, they're members of six different congregations and various Christian denominations, all calling for one thing, peace. We're tired of people just sitting around saying we're not going to do anything about it. The youngest are taking action through art. Eight-year-old Scotland Pittman shows us the sign his sister put together for the rally. It says stop the violence, pray for peace. His dad holds up another. Um, the big thing that we took away from it is that, you know, this is the community that belongs to our children. We're just, you know, caretakers for it. So um, we're super happy that both she and Scott, um, you know, maybe don't recognize violence as an issue yet, but that they recognize that, um, you know, peace is a positive thing. Peace is something that they want in their community. They say the church is a place to start and prayer and hope can be a path to peace. Now, this is one city and we have to start thinking like that and acting like it and all come together as a community to stop the violence and stop what's happening because if we don't, we can lose this city because people just will move out. Katie Hines, RTV6.